Hello students, welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through polynomials. In the last sessions, we have seen the remainder theorem. If any polynomial, p of x, of degree greater than or equal to 1, is divided by a linear polynomial, x minus a, then the remainder is p of a and is divided by a linear polynomial, x plus a, then the remainder is p of minus a. And factor theorem. If any polynomial, p of x, of degree, greater than or equal to, 1, is divided by, x minus a, and, if p of a equals 0, then, x minus a, is a factor of p of x, Conversely, if x minus a is a factor of p of x, then p of a equals zero. Today, let us see some application problems using the remainder theorem and factor theorem. Let us do one example. Check whether x plus two is a factor of p of x equals x square plus two x. We know that if p of x equals x square plus 2x is completely divisible by x plus 2, then x plus 2 is a factor of p of x. That is, if we divide p of x by x plus 2, the remainder should be 0. Let's see what the remainder is. We know that, by remainder theorem, when a polynomial, p of x is, divided by x plus a, the remainder is p of minus a. So by the remainder theorem, when a polynomial p of x equals x squared plus 2x is divided by x plus 2, the remainder is p of minus 2. That is, the remainder is p of minus 2. We have p of x equals x squared plus 2x. Then p of minus 2 equals minus 2 whole square plus 2 multiplied by minus 2 equals 4 minus 4 equals 0. We know that by factor theorem, when a polynomial p of x is divided by x plus a, and if p of minus a equals 0, then, x plus a is a factor of p of x. Here we got the remainder, p of minus 2, as 0. Therefore, x plus 2 is a factor of p of x equals x squared plus 2x. Let's do another application problem. Find the value of k if x minus 1 is a factor of p of x equals 4x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4x plus k. We know that, by factor theorem, when a polynomial p of x is divided by x minus a, and if p of a equals 0, then x minus a is a factor of p of x. Given that x minus 1 is a factor of p of x, so, p of 1 is equal to 0. By factor theorem, we have p of x equals 4x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4x plus k. Then, p of 1 equals 0. Implies that 4 multiplied by 1 cube plus 3 multiplied by 1 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 plus k equals 0 implies that 4 plus 3 minus 4 plus k equals 0. Implies that 3 plus k equals 0. Implies that k equals minus 3. That is, the value of k equals minus 3. Let's do another example. 
If the polynomials ax cube plus 4x square plus 3x minus 4 and x cube minus 4x plus a leave the same remainder when divided by x minus 3. Find the value of a. Let p of x equals ax cube plus 4x square plus 3x minus 4 and q of x equals x cube minus 4x plus a be the given polynomials. Given that when p of x and q of x are divided by x minus 3, then the remainder is the same. We know that by remainder theorem, when a polynomial p of x is divided by x minus a, then the remainder is p of a. So here, remainders are p of 3 and q of 3. Let us find p of 3 and q of 3. We have p of x equals ax cube plus 4x square plus 3x minus 4. Then p of 3 equals a multiplied by 3 cube plus 4 multiplied by 3 square plus 3 multiplied by 3 minus 4 equals 27a plus 36 plus 9 minus 4 equals 27a plus 41. Next, q of x equals x cube minus 4x plus a. q of 3 equals 3 cube minus 4 multiplied by 3 plus a equals 27 minus 12 plus a equals 15 plus a. Since the remainders are same, p of 3 equals q of 3, which implies that 27a plus 41 equals 15 plus a implies 27a minus a equals 15 minus 41 implies 26a equals minus 26 implies a equals minus 26 divided by 26. That is, a equals minus 1. Therefore, the value of a is minus 1. Let's recall what we discussed today. Today we discussed some application problems of the remainder theorem and factor theorem. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. 1. Find the remainder when p of x equals 4x cubed minus 5x square plus 8x plus 10 is divided by x plus 3. 2. Check whether x plus 1 is a factor of p of x equals x raised to 4 plus 3x cubed plus 3x square plus x plus 1. 3. Find the value of k if x minus 1 is a factor of p of x equals kx square minus 3x plus k. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.